Hey everyone, Marion Espresso Press Design. Welcome on this beautiful February day. The sun is shining. It's unseasonably warm. And I'll take it. So today we're going to do a greeting card project. Very, very simple. Which I saw this over at Pam at Paper Outpost. Mine are going to be a little different and I'll explain that how in a minute. So you'll need some greeting cards, a little show and tell, and highs and thank yous. Um, this paper is Summer Floral Garden. I only printed out one sheet. Um, multi-floral painted um, wallpaper like pattern very um, this one's quite different from the rest but very versatile it will make some beautiful tags there so um, Thank yous to Jolene, Ricky, Lily, Dwayne, Candice, Sherry's Boutique, Brigitte, and Netta. Thank you so much for your kind reviews and purchases. And Eve, welcome aboard to the paper crafting world. My first, I think my first viewer requests. I will gladly demonstrate how I made these for you um, next week. That will be the day before Valentine's. And that might be a nice little way to um, wrap up February Valentine's. I do use these little embellishments quite a bit, as you can see in this gift card. So I will gladly do that for you next week, and um, I should do a uh, help you avoid paper craft rehab <laughs> video <laughs> because once you start, oh my! Um, no, that'll be for another one. It's all fun. And don't think you're not creative, because I think everyone's creative. But that's what Create With Me's are for, where you can follow along, like color in the lines, and you'll learn basically a lot of techniques that you're going to reuse in other projects. So that's what Create With Me is for. And um, it has little kits that are very easy for anyone who feels they are like you and are not creative and likes tutorials. And another one I would recommend is Pink Strawberries. That's a strawberry with a Z. She has tons of very easy beginner tutorials and she makes beautiful little things and handy little things and I think you would enjoy her channel if you're a beginner. So okay I hope I didn't lose my main please don't oh no there they are right there all separated. Okay we all have them I picked up a stack, another new stack, about a month or two ago to do the um, journal card series, and then I didn't include it. So, look at these beautiful ones I picked up, mostly because of the envelopes. Look at those gorgeous envelopes. So I picked up this entire stack. And I had been looking. Look at that beautiful envelope. 
I had been looking for things to do with them. And look at that beautiful envelope. So that's just a sample of the pack I picked up. And I chose this one because it had a lot of, what are they? They're at least six inch wide, six by eight. I particularly wanted some large cards for this project, but it really doesn't matter, and I'll show you why. So what we're going to make, it even had a valentine unused. I don't know if I'm going to cut that up because I don't really need it. So I have a stack of matching ones here, kind of for the photo. And that's what we're going to need and what we're going to make, very simple, are some little bookmarks. And Pam covered hers and I only had to cover a part of one and mine are a little different. But what is cool about these, in my humble opinion, is that they just go over a page and then you can have the tab. Hopefully you can see that. Let me see. Here, see that tab? I think that is really cool. Now she did hers differently where it sits above the page. And this has a particular name in card making and I can't remember exactly. A book, a book bind card. I know it has a particular name and I can't exactly remember. So you're just going to need your cards. You're going to need some backing if there's a part you have to cover. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to, this one in particular, I have it marked off where I'm going to cut. And I'm going to leave the sentiment in there. I think this would be cute if you're going to give a book for a gift. And in particular, this would be a get well gift. I think it would be cute to do that, to leave the sentiment in there. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. And I already have it marked off where I, with some little pencil marks there where I'm going to trim it. And you can get more than one out of there. So see, I'm going to leave the little sentiment and I could get another one. Or I could just leave it like that and cover the sentiment with a another little collage or something, which I'll just save that to think about it. And then I have another one here that does need covered. So I'm just going to I'm going to take this one two and a half. This one will be a little shorter, but it will still work. And then I'm going to cut another one out of this. 
and keep the entire heart and use that for something else that needs covered. So that's the first step is just getting your width Okay, and then the second step is you'll need a scoreboard or at least a scoring tool. And I have my scoreboard, so I'm going to use it. And I'm going to score at half an inch on the, the side where the fold is. Oh, and I forgot you'll need some glue. I hope you're all doing well. This one, this one takes some effort because it's slippery. I did get a cold. I was sick in my video last week, so sorry about that. I did have a sore throat, and then by the next day it was a full-blown cold, and I spent the day in bed <laughs> the next day. And the day after that I just kept resting. <clears throat> Oh, look at that, even a little flower on the back. So then we're just going to fold these in our fold, or burnish these slightly, so we get a little, our little tab. And some of these are ancient. I'm not going to worry about covering that up, but this one I will cover because it didn't, um, yeah, I will cover that, so let me get a piece of Coffee guide paper here. Yeah, this will work, I think. No, it won't. The wider one. It's not wide enough either. This one. It's a little busy. Okay, this one will work for sure. Okay. I'm going to glue this on. And then I'm going to run it through the press. after after the video so this I was going to do a had two more journal cards to do in the journal card series and then I uh, 
cut it short because I felt like they were too simple. But greeting cards was one of them and I picked up another pack. Stuffed it in my drawer because I have a drawer full of them. I didn't need them. <laughs> That's for sure. I picked them up anyway. So this can go in the category of journal stuffer. Greeting cards in general. You can almost always find um, something in your greeting card stash to match your journal. And I forget the name of the video. How to vintage, vintage up. Oh, geez. I'm having glue issues. Just refilled my glue. Okay, so then you're just going to glue that where you, where you, um, need your little score so that you can get your tab top. Okay, there's one. Where'd my cloth go? I lost you already. Okay. There's one. We'll do the finishing in a moment. And here's another one. Just going to glue right in that little space that's scored. That's what's going to keep it above your page. She, she just put a little bow, and that's what kept hers above the page, but I, um, I could decorate these, but these are just going to be a little Valentine add-on for me, for the most part. I'll keep this one. I have to send a get well gift. I'll tuck that in a little book. So there's three. And let me see. could probably get another one out of that. Where are we for time? 19. Yeah, might as well. Let me see. Well, that one will need two sides covered, so I won't do that one. Let me do this one. I think that will still match. And this one has to be put under a book. So I think I'll make that two and three quarters. This will be a cute one for kids. Okay, half an inch. Okay, 
see how fast these are going. <laughs> you get the right card, boy, you can make a bunch of these for your journal out of one card. So about my Facebook about my Facebook um, Cherish Treasure Cherish Resale Boutique you got confused well yeah that was a long story but basically the thing was um, go to my Shopify look at my Cherish Resale Boutique and tell me if you think it works well with all the other collections on Shopify. And I'm going to use, which one did I use? I'm going to use my little ticket corner punch for this. So yes, just tell me if you think it's compatible. That was the gist. And if you don't think it's compatible, I can do it so that people can only access that collection from Facebook. And they can still sh they can see the collection on Facebook and they can click and come over to Shopify and purchase from Facebook, but it will be invisible on Shopify. It will be invisible if you go to my page on Shopify and you can only shop for the other collections, the digitals. The Vintage Supply Company. And the usual. I just didn't want, I, I, I wanted to try to reduce my presence on so many platforms, reduce my work. And get this other thing off the ground where I have to sell all my stuff because not only do I have to help my daughter as she's going to college, but it's time for us to start lessening the load in our old age, or soon to be old age. So, okay, everyone. So, yeah, head on over there. Look at Cherish Resale Boutique Collection. I only have about six things up. I'll have books and all kinds of things. And I don't think it's that different because I will be selling books that for junk journals that I cannot um, bring myself to tear apart. So I will be selling things junk journal related and... Um, I'll also have things that people might think are pretty and they can put in their craft room. So, I don't think it's too disparate, but again, I, didn't, I don't want it to be, be a mess. That was my main point. I don't want my Shopify site to be a mess. <laughs> okay, so that was the point of that. And Eve, I will do these hearts for you next week. And I hope you um, like these. Let me do another quick demonstration here. 
as we are at 26. Let me do one, I'll make sure you can see. And there you go. Your cute little you cook cute little hang over your page. Topper. That is quite pearlescent. <laughs> so that's it, everyone. I'll do the hearts next week and then we'll move on after that. Thanks. Have a great week, everyone. Thank you for your time. I'll see you next time. Bye.